Hey everybody, today I'm going to compare the revolver to the semi-auto pistol. I'm going to show you the differences and hopefully this will help you decide what you want to use. Now I can't decide for you, it depends on what you want to use your pistol for. You can use it for target shooting, uh, concealed carry, competition shooting, uh, duty carry, or home defense. So I hope this uh, video helps. Now first of all, let's take a look at the similarities. Now if you look at the revolver on the left, there's a front sight and there's also a front sight for the semi-auto. There's also a rear sight and a rear sight for both. There is a trigger guard and a trigger. And they both have grips. Typically a revolver does have a hammer such as what you see here. Now depending on uh, what type of revolver, uh, if you have a revolver for concealed carry, your hammer might be more concealed or unexposed. And for semi-autos, I have a uh, pistol here with a hammer. You will also find more modern day semi-auto pistols without a hammer. They use a striker fire mechanism inside the slide or underneath the slide in which it does not use a hammer. So traditionally both pistols would have a hammer but the modern day semi-autos could have a hammer or a striker fire mechanism such as the Glock pistols, semi-auto pistols. Now earlier I mentioned it depends on what you want to use your pistol for before you can choose what type you want. Now if you are going to use your gun for concealed carry then you will probably want something smaller, lighter, reliable, maybe more slimline. So for your revolver, you might want a shorter barrel. So you might want a revolver that has a hidden hammer so it will not snag on your clothing when you're drawing your weapon. For duty carry, you want something reliable and something you're comfortable with and something that fits your hand. For home defense, you probably want the same thing. For competition shooting, you probably want something lightweight, low recoil. So depending on what caliber you choose, that will dictate how much recoil you have when firing your pistol. And of course, target shooting. You will probably want to target shoot to practice uh, when you conceal carry. So you would use your concealed carry weapon or your duty weapon. Now let's talk about the differences between a revolver and a semi-auto. Now, before you pick up any gun, be it a revolver, a semi-auto pistol, or a rifle. You always do a safety check. You always assume that they're loaded. Let's pick up the revolver. You always keep your finger outside of the trigger guard, off of the trigger, and you put your finger to the side here. And you always point the muzzle or the gun in a safe direction. So we do a safety check. Use your thumb here. Depress the cylinder release, use your left hand, push out the cylinder, here's the cylinder. A cylinder has a number of chambers, the chambers hold the cartridges that match the caliber of this pistol. Notice here, this is an ejection rod. Unlike a semi-auto, a revolver will retain its brass after firing a round and you will have to open up the cylinder, eject the spent cartridges using the ejection rod, reload, and close the cylinder. How does a revolver operate? Well, let's do an example here. If you would open up the cylinder, load the cylinder with cartridges, close it, and assuming that the cylinder has cartridges in there, live rounds, the first thing you would do to fire is to pull the trigger. When you pull the trigger, several things happen. When you pull the trigger, notice the cylinder will turn and will line up the next chamber to the barrel. You will also notice that the hammer is being pulled back. So it's turning the cylinder, lining up the next chamber with a round in it, lining it up with the barrel, pulling back the hammer, and 
when you pull back the trigger completely, it will pull it back, release the hammer, dropping the hammer, igniting the primer on the round in the chamber that's lined up with the barrel. So every time you pull the trigger, it turns the cylinder, it lines up the next chamber with a round in it to the barrel, it pulls back the hammer, drops the hammer, firing that round. So if there's six rounds in the cylinder, you can pull the trigger six times, it will fire six times. When you fire a seventh time, nothing will happen. The cylinder will turn, the hammer will get cocked back and released, but nothing will happen because all the rounds in the cylinder will have been fired. You will then need to open up the cylinder, eject the spent brass. And that's basically how a revolver works. Now that's firing it in double action. You can fire a revolver in single action if your hammer is exposed. So if I pull the hammer back, cock it back, and if I pull the trigger now, there's only one action, and that is dropping the hammer. That is single action. Now users can do that at a range, and that will give you a more precise uh, aim at your target, because a double action pull on the trigger is longer and heavier, which will cause you to be less accurate with your firing. So if you pull the trigger, it will drop the hammer. So that is how a revolver operates. Now let's take a look at the differences in a semi-auto pistol. Now before I pick it up, we always assume that a firearm is loaded and we have to do a safety check. So here's a semi-auto pistol. Keeping the fingers out of the trigger guard and off the trigger, pointing the pistol in a safe direction. Pull back the slide. Look in the chamber. There are no rounds. There are actually no rounds in the magazine as well. Gun is safe. Let's put the gun back in battery. Now, the difference between a semi-auto and a revolver is a semi-auto has a slide. This is the top section here that moves back and forth. This slide slides back and forth. There's also a slide release. This lever here releases the slide. It puts the slide back into battery. There you go. Now notice I have a safety lever and it's also a decocker. For this particular pistol, it's a Smith & Wesson 459. It has a safety and a decocker. Now with a lot of the modern day pistols, they are striker fire pistols with no hammer. It's a spring-loaded firing pin. This semi-auto pistol is a hammer fired pistol. And so some have a hammer and some do not. This one has a hammer. Your semi-auto is cocked for single action and you want to decock it safely. Use the decocker lever that will decock it safely and puts it into safety. Now I'm going to take it off safety for demo purposes. Now, the way a semi-auto operates is, okay, there's a slide, slide release, and there's also a button here. You'll find this on most semi-autos. This is a magazine release. Press it, your magazine detaches from the weapon, and this magazine holds the bullets, holds the cartridges. Now, the way this works is, your magazine holds the rounds. Here are some rounds here. You would take your rounds and load up the magazine to capacity. And 
And that's how simply a magazine is loaded. Okay, now assuming that I put some rounds in here, which I am not for safety. So let's imagine I did put some rounds in here. I'm inserting the magazine into the pistol, locking it in securely. Now, we did a safety check on this weapon. There are no rounds in the chamber. The chamber is this section of the barrel right here. In order for a semi-auto pistol to work and fire, there needs to be a round in the chamber. Now in order to put a round in the chamber, there needs to be rounds in the magazine here. So by pulling back the slide and letting the slide go back to battery, the slide will strip around from the magazine, putting it into the chamber here. Therefore, this gun is loaded and it is ready to fire. Notice the hammer is back and cocked back. This pistol is in single action mode, so when I pull the trigger, the hammer will drop. So therefore you're firing in single action mode. Well, first of all, the round fires, the bullet comes out of the barrel, the slide gets pushed back, and when the slide gets pushed back, the spent brass gets automatically ejected from this port here. This port is part of the slide. And when there's more, if there's more rounds in the magazine, this slide will go back automatically, stripping a round from the magazine, putting another round in the chamber, making it auto-loading. It's semi-auto, but it auto-loads every time you pull the trigger. So every time you pull the trigger once, it fires the bullet, pulls or pushes the slide back, ejecting the round. The slide goes back to battery, stripping a round from the magazine, putting another round into the chamber, making it ready to fire again. Now, if you decock it and there is a round in the chamber, you can fire, but it'll be in double action mode because the hammer is dropped. If you chamber around the first time by racking the slide, you're going to fire in single action mode. Now for safety purposes, I decock it. When I draw, I take it out of safety and then pull the trigger. The first shot is in double action mode, which is a little harder but for safety purposes, I would prefer my first shot be double action. That's really your choice and what you want to do. So put in a nutshell, that is how a semi-auto pistol operates. Now, a couple of things that you need to know when considering a revolver versus a uh, semi-auto pistol. Let's uh, take a look at the revolver first. Now, the capacity and how many rounds you can fire before reloading is limited to how many chambers you have in the cylinder. This one has six. So you're limited to six rounds before you have to reload. That is a limitation. But a revolver is known to be very reliable because of its simple action. Now compare that to a semi-auto pistol where there are many moving parts and where there is more moving parts it's more likely to to fail at some point. Now with a semi-auto pistol you can have a, a stovepipe, um, you can have a double feed, um, so you can have various issues uh, with a semi-auto.
pistol. That doesn't mean a semi-auto pistol is not reliable. A lot of the modern day semi-autos are very reliable. A semi-auto pistol also has a detachable magazine in which you can load with a large capacity compared to a revolver. This revolver has six rounds capacity. This magazine, I believe, can hold 14 rounds. Uh, that's over double the amount that this revolver can fire before reloading. So that is something to take into consideration when you're considering a pistol. So I talked about the similarities. I talked about the main differences, how each one operates, and a few notes on some of the advantages and disadvantages of a semi-auto and revolver. Now, if I missed something, you can put in the comments. Thanks for watching and have a great day.